on YouTube B3 here back another kicking action figure review. Today we have another DC Icons figure. It is the DC Icons Mr. Miracle from Wave 1. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Mr. Miracle here. I wasn't going to pick up Mr. Miracle when DC Icons came out. I was like, oh, I'll just get my favorite characters. But uh, they aren't releasing super quickly or anything. And I found a bunch of them on clearance. So I'm almost entirely caught up. I'm like... Uh, a wave and a half behind, maybe. Not not bad, honestly, and I have the deluxe figures, so it's coming along pretty well, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I got this guy 40% off at my local movie stop. They're going out of business, sadly. It really stinks, because I shopped there a lot. They're going to be gone by the time you see this review, actually. Uh... It really stinks. I went there once, and the DC icons were 25% off. I was like, nah, I'll wait. Then they were 30. I got Blue Beetle and Lex Luthor. And then when they went to 40% off, I got The Flash and Mr. Miracle here. So now all I'm missing is Green Arrow, Dead Man, and Wave 3. Yeah. Very, very cool. So, Mr. Miracolo. Let's zoom it out. Very nice. Uh, they made some great choices with this figure. I believe this is kind of more of the New 52 look for Mr. Miracle. Uh, I remember reading some of him in the Earth 2 stories and stuff, but I didn't... Uh, it was a while ago. Uh, he's got a nice material. The cape's a nice material. Not terribly sure I like the sculpt of the cape. I don't like it when capes do this whole hourglass body thing. Where they're like pinched in the middle. I don't think I really like that for capes. But I do like how it arches up like that. It looks very regal. Uh, his collar's good. I like the collar. It came out well. Uh, really my only complaint on this guy detail and paint wise. Is just that I don't like the shape of his cape. But that's a creative choice. Uh, I mean this is an excellent figure. Great paint. As you can see the metallic was a wonderful choice. Uh, he really stands out actually. Like, with my other more flat-painted DC figures, he really stands out. Like, my only other real metallic figures are maybe, uh, some lanterns, a couple Batman, maybe? This guy, he really, he does stand out in the collection just because of his metallic stuff, really. Uh, especially since I put the icons in the front of the collection since they're shorter. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, he looks great. Lots of lines and stuff all over him. Green, gold, red. Got a T for Terrific right there on the belt. Not, uh, not Terrific. He's Mr. Miracle. I don't know what that T is for, then. <laughs> he did do stuff with Mr. Terrific, though. That's, that's why that was in my head. But, yeah, you know, he's, I think he's got a great sculpt. I love how they give all these icons, you know, these just amazing sculpts of great articulation. Speaking of, uh... Articulation. Uh, let's move this cool looking head a bit. He can look down, not really up, sadly. Very, like that's as much as he can look up, which kind of sucks. But uh, you got a lot of articulation down here that can help him look up, so that's fine, I guess. Get side to side on the head. Very nice. Up and down on the arms, forward and back. Uh, you have bicep swivel, double elbow bend, as well as a wrist swivel. And forward and back on the wrist as well. Very nice, very nice. Then you have this upper torso joint. Uh, his is a lot stiffer compared to lots of other DC icons that I've had. But, uh, you know, it goes forward and back plane. Mine doesn't want to turn side to side too much, though. Which is no big deal. It's whatever. Then you have the uh, waist crunch. So he can actually look down a good bit with the waist and torso joints and up a decent amount. He's, uh, he's, he's got good articulation, I'll give him that. In and out on the legs, good bit of forward, some back like that. It kind of pushes out to the side, cuts up his butt, that apocalypse booty. Uh, you got a double knee bend there, and then you've got boop, 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 angle pivot, and up and down on the foot, peg holes, etc. So yeah, you know, he's a very, very cool figure. Now we're going to get into his awesome accessories. First thing I have to show off here for accessories is this pair of interchangeable hands. Yes, a nice little couple here. Uh, they're kind of like open grappling hands. You know, second base hands, really. Uh, pretty cool. I love interchangeable hands. I, I just, I love interchangeable hands very, very much. Uh, they're very cool. Very nice. Just hands. 
Scott Free also comes with his very own mother box. Yeah, so, you know, mother box, kind of a must-have uh, accessory for Mr. Miracle, if you ask me. Pretty nice little thing. It's just a cube with big old yellow things on the sides, and top and bottom has smaller ones. Uh, but yeah, he holds it okay. Uh, maybe, like, I'm not going to display him with it because I'm afraid to lose it, honestly. Uh, it kind of just sits on the hand. He doesn't actually really hold on to it, so yeah. But it's still a cool accessory. Mr. Miracle is also often seen with these discs on his feet. Uh, you just peg him right into the heel there. No big deal. Uh, and he uses these to kind of float around. Yeah, you know, they're pretty cool. They have these rollers on the bottom, actually, so you can uh, roll them a little bit. But, you know, it's not, it doesn't totally work, you know. They're not the most efficient. Uh wheels. Not that I would want him to roll around anyways. I mean, like, I wish they would have just made these flat, honestly. Like, I see they were trying to add a little something to it, but at the same time, they get, this one gets stuck a lot. This one's fine. This one gets stuck uh, on the front and back, quote-unquote, wheel. Uh, and they're, uh, yeah, I just, he, they would have been so much better if they were flat. They could have been a, a good stand for him. Now we're going to jump right into size comparisons. Here he is with some other figures from his own line, DC Collectibles, DC Icons. Here on the left we have the Flash, and on the right the Forever Evil Lex Luthor. And here he is with some Mattel television and movie figures. Here on the left the CW Reverse Flash from the DC Comics Multiverse line. And on the right the Movie Masters Dark Knight Rises Raz Al Ghul. Here he's with some comic book Mattel figures. Here on the left the DC Universe Classics 2-pack Supergirl. And on the right the DC Universe Classics 2-pack Fall Sinestro. And for our last size comparison of the day here he is with some larger DC Collectibles figures. Here on the left the DC Designer Series, Greg Capullo, New 52 Nightwing. And here on the right, the Arrow Season 1 Deathstroke from the 2-pack. So what are my final thoughts on the DC Collectibles, DC Icons, Wave 1 Mr. Miracle? Very cool. I actually really like this guy. Uh, the detail and paint is just magnificent. The articulation is great. Uh, especially compared to many of my other DC collectibles. DC Icons is an amazing line. An amazing line. Normally they're 25 bucks a piece. I was able to get this guy for about $10 off, which is really dope. Uh, he's just an amazing figure. Scales well with other DC Icons. Kind of smells, scales well with the, uh, smaller Mattel figures, too. Honestly. So that's pretty cool. But, yeah, you know, he really is quite awesome. So that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all later.